I, I guess the answer then is really, if you're a video person, if you're a filmmaker, and 8K isn't necessary for you at all, yeah. then buy the A7S III. Yeah, so... It's pretty 8K, simple, really. Right, right. 8K, it, in my opinion, I don't, I don't think it's necessary for just about most people. Most people. Uh, there are some instances where 8K would look really nice for certain shots, but those shots are few and far between. If you're doing stuff that requires you know, a lot of VFX and more resolution in VFX, if, if I'm not mistaken, is a good thing. It then is. yeah, then yeah. But, so yeah, but if you're sense. doing that, if you're doing that at that scale, you're talking about Hollywood, you're talking about multi-million dollar productions, they're not going to buy this camera. They're going to use a red. Well, yeah, but the point is that I can get that in my little indie film, you know, I don't need okay. to get the red to get the higher resolution. I can get this in the small package. Okay. So that's okay, what I well mean. then yeah. Well then if if we're playing that game then then why not get the R5 which is cheaper and does raw 8K? Because I want to rel I want a reliable camera. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's one of that's, the things where I mean, I, to be I, honest, that uh, remains to be seen. We don't know, really. Ab you're absolutely I agree. Absolutely I agree. Um but one thing I did notice though is that they didn't put so much emphasis like Canon did on their 8K. You're so right. It's they a, just it's mentioned a soft 8K. it. <laughs> right. They mentioned it and it might have a record limit. That's listen, I'm fine with that. But you know, Canon was all about the AK. It's their their headline feature on the <laughs> yeah. R5. Come to show it's only good for a few minutes and you're done. And then the more you use it, the longer that wait time is before you can record yeah. again. So yeah. those are the limitations. So my whole thing is know the limitations. I'm not I'm not against cam, you know, manufacturers coming out with limited record times and overheat, you know, but just be straightforward about it. Is it usable or is it not? Cuz I need to make a decision whether to buy this camera or not. Is it going to get in my way? If I know that I can only record for 20 minutes, then after that, I have to wait 10 minutes before I can hit record again, and then it's only going to record for 15 minutes next time, but then I have to wait another 30 minutes before I can record another <laughs> 10 minutes, that's not going to cut it for me. You know, and no, in no, no press no. release did Canon ever say any of that. In this time, Sony simply mentioned the 8K, but that was not their highlight feature. Their highlight feature was still, it's a solid camera that would give you solid image, amazing autofocus, all the autofocus points, the viewfinder, the recording formats, all that stuff was what it really catered to. Also, the 5G, the live streaming, like those are the yeah. features that were they were really uh, focusing on as opposed to AK, AK, AK. So it's, it's a different type of delivery. This is probably what Canon would have stuck to if they would have not emphasized yeah. the AK and maybe even said, this is a solid photography camera, which is also, I didn't mention that, Sony mentioned that as well. They said they stuck on how amazing the 50.1 megapixels is going to look in your image. Look how you can crop into this image. And that's what they were really focusing on. And I think that yeah. that is what may or may not make this, because the price tag is just hard to overlook. That's a lot of freaking money for a camera. Well, I I, th I do think the again the the market is those one D uh, users the people that I think you know the one D series has always been in the five thousand dollar price bracket so I don't think it'll make those high end like photographers flinch you know if you're a portrait photographer you want that high megapixel that reliability if you're tethered in a studio you know or you're shooting the Olympics. I don't think the price will, uh, but, but then it seems as though, you you're, know, you're paying more because it has that X, the added features of the 4k 5G. 120 and the live, the, the live broadcasting. If that's not important to you, then just go for the a seven R Yeah, you know, because that's already included in the a seven. So, th so that's my thing. Like this is catered towards somebody that wants to offer all of that stuff without compromise. Right, yeah, or at least with minimum minimal compromise. So I think, how uh -huh. how would you compare this in a car? Uh, if you were to compare it to a car lineup, what kind of 
manufacturer would this car be compared to the R and the the A7S? <laughs> well, I Is don't... this the Rolls Royce of Sony's <laughs> products? No, it's it's because Rolls Royce is not catering to people that lo- that love SUVs. You know what I mean? That's true. And yeah, the Rolls Royce for cameras would be a Leica or a Hasselblad, right? Rolls, kind of. Yes, exactly. So Rolls Royce is a very niche market. You know, this they're really going for that perfect camera, right? And this might very. Let's say this is the perfect camera, but the thing is that price tag is, it's hard to overlook. So unless it'll it'll go down. In a year or two, probably. Yeah, maybe by five hundred dollars. <laughs> I think that this camera would be at a reasonable price if they left it at five thousand. That's perfectly yeah, reasonable for everything four, that it offers. Four nine nine nine, right? <laughs> exactly. That would look good. Nine nine eight. Get it right. Yeah, exactly. 